Hey y'all, it's Kasia, and today I'm going to show y'all how I did these Jumbo Knotless Box Braids, Janae Iko inspired with the curly ends. Okay, so for this style, I use four packs of expression hair, extra hole jam, a red tail comb, Nairobi foam and mousse, the gray flexi rods, and a tea kettle. This is, the expression here is extra long, so you know, of course I'm going to be cutting it in half. Um, you can use pre-stretched hair if you like. That's not my preference. I like my braids to be full and thick all the way through. So I'm just going to be um, pulling the ends of the hair. I never really know what this is called, but basically just thinning out the ends of the hair. I'm going to do that to each half of each pack, so... Since I use four packs, I'm obviously going to be doing it to eight sections, basically. Because you cut each pack of four in half, and you have like eight bundles of hair, basically. So this is how it looks. I'm just going to do all of them, and this is what I came up with. So each pack of, each half pack of hair, I'm going to get three braids from, so... I ended up with 22 braids in my head, so I was a little short of four packs of hair. But basically, I used most of the fourth pack. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be separating each one braid into six pieces. I hope y'all can see that. My head was kind of in the way, but each half a pack has three braids, so each full pack has six braids. And then each braid itself, when I'm braiding it into my head, I separated it into six. Um, now I'm just going to be showing y'all how I parted out my own hair. Normally I would freehand it, but I did want my parts to be a little more clean today. So I have a mirror, a small mirror in front of me, and I'm using the camera to be able to see my parting. It's not going to be perfect because obviously I'm parting my own hair, but I'm going to get it as close to... You know, as close as possible to being neat as possible. So yeah, I'm just going to do my best. But I'm just going to be pre-parting my hair out so that I can, so it can be easier for me once I start braiding to just go ahead and braid straight through instead of having to try to figure out my parting sections during the braiding process. So yeah, I just pre-parted my hair. Um, just to let y'all know, this hairstyle only took me three hours. Well, it was about an hour for prep and then three hours for me to braid. But honestly, I could have shortened the time down. I ended up being on the phone talking to my mom a lot of the time. So I wasn't moving as fast as I probably would have had I been not had I not been on the phone. So yeah, I'm just going to be going through parting. And yeah, that's about it. I'll come back to you once I start the braiding process. Okay, so once you finish parting all your sections out, you're going to take that one piece in the back that you're going to start with and you're going to slick it up with your jam or edge control of choice. I decided to do jam because it's soft. It's kind of a softer hold than edge control. Um, anyway, I'm just going to start feeding in that hair right during my first stitch of braids and then once I get right back to that same exact spot, I'm going to add another piece of hair. I'm adding in only on one side. Um, I know on my first knotless braid tutorial, I was adding in hair on both sides. The reason I was doing that is because her hair is thinner than mine. My hair is pretty thick, so I don't need to add in the hair as fast. So, yeah, I'm just adding it in on one side. And it's also easier for me to do it this way on myself. 
So I'm adding in six pieces of hair as I mentioned to you all before. Um, I'm braiding behind my head but once I finish adding in the hair I'm going to change the way that I'm braiding like the way that my arms are if that makes sense. I'm just going to turn around and face the camera so that I can see how where my real hair is so that I can be able to tuck it in so you'll see me doing that right now turning around and changing the direction in which I'm braiding so I'm gonna flip my hands around and begin to braid this way so now I'm like pulling my natural hair into the middle of this braid and sorry that I'm talking I am on video chat with my mom right now but <laughs> I hope that's not super distracting from me doing this tutorial. I apologize. So anyway, I'm just going to continue to braid and tuck my hair in and braid it all the way down to the end. And I'm going to do that for every single braid. All the braids are going to be braided exactly the same. The only, the only thing that I will add is that once I get to the end of my braid, I am going to be tying it off. I don't know if you all really looked at Janae Aiko's braids, but I really, really looked at them. And I saw that her ends were tied off too. I always tie off the ends of my braids, but for these, I did the piece a little bit thicker so that it could kind of show more just because on hers you could see it and I thought that it was a really cute touch so yeah I'm just gonna slow it down so that you all can see that right here
braiding and I'm going to be wrapping the ends of my hair around a gray flexi rod. I decided to do it this way opposed to adding in that curly crochet hair because not only is this easier and more cost efficient, the ends of the hair last longer and does not get nappy. And you can also re-dip them if you feel like they're a little fuzzy. This is way easier, way better, way more cost effective. I recommend this way more than I do adding braid in hair, adding um, curly crochet hair to the ends. So yeah, and then also with this, you can dip your whole braid instead of having to worry about not dipping the crochet hair and only dipping the middle of your braids. And the curls came out perfect and bouncy. I like to use flexi rods instead of those other rods because it gives more of a bohemian look. I am using some Nairobi foaming mousse to set my braids. So I'm just going to be putting that all over my braids from the roots of my hair to the ends of my hair. Um, and then I'm just going to be blow drying that product in and smoothing out my hair. Since these are pretty big parts, you do want to pay close attention to your natural hair at the root area. And make sure that it's really smooth. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much the end of the tutorial. I really didn't do anything else but my edges. I am going to be using my edge control to do my edges, which unfortunately I am out of stock. But stay on the lookout if you are interested in purchasing it because I will be updating my site as soon as I have it back in. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing my little baby hair. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope y'all really enjoyed this, you know, soft, bohemian, not this bop braid tutorial thanks for watching bye